Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess. Today is August the 22nd, 2016. I'm at Judicial Watch. New Aberdeen emails reveal Hillary Clinton State Department gave special access to top Clinton Foundation donors. The Crown Prince of Bahrain forced to go through Foundation to see Clinton after pledging $32 million to Clinton Global Initiative. Hollywood executive Casey Wasserman, slim fast mogul Daniel Abraham, and controversial appointee Rajiv Fernando, also among Clinton Foundation donors, granted special favors from Clinton State Department. Judicial Watch today released 725 pages of new State Department documents, including previously unreleased email exchanges in which former Hillary Clinton's top aide, Huma Abedin, provided influential Clinton Foundation donors special expedited access to the Secretary of State. In many instances, the preferential treatment provided to donors was at the specific request of Clinton Foundation Executive Douglas banned. The new documents included 20 Hillary Clinton email exchanges not previously turned over to the State Department, bringing the known total to date to 191 of new Clinton emails not part of the 55,000 pages of emails that Clinton turned over to the State Department. These records further appear to contradict statements by Clinton that as far as she knew all of her government emails were turned over to the State Department. The Aberdeen emails reveal that the longtime Clinton aide apparently served as a conduit between Clinton Foundation donors and Hillary Clinton while Clinton served as Secretary of State. In more than a dozen email exchanges, Aberdeen provided expedited direct access to Clinton for donors who had contributed from 25000 to $10 million to the Clinton Foundation. In many instances, Clinton Foundation top executive Doug Bann, who worked with the Foundation throughout Hillary Clinton's tenure at State, coordinated closely with Aberdeen. In Aberdeen's June deposition to Judicial Watch, she conceded that part of her job at the State Department was taking care of Clinton family matters. Including among the Aberdeen banned emails is an exchange revealing that when Crown Prince Salman of Bahrain requested a meeting with Secretary of State Clinton, he was forced to go through the Clinton Foundation for an appointment. Aberdeen advised Ben that when she went through normal channels at State, Clinton declined to meet. After Band intervened, however, the meeting was set up within 48 hours. According to the Clinton Foundation website, in 2005, Salman committed to establishing the Crown Prince's International Scholarship Program for the Clinton Global Initiative, and by 2010, it had contributed $32 million to the Clinton Global Initiative. The Kingdom of Bahrain reportedly gave between 50000 and 100000 to the Clinton Foundation, and Bahrain Petroleum also gave an additional $25,000 to $50,000. And it shows an email exchange here from Doug Band to Huma Abedin. It's a back and forth kind of. Also included among the Abedin Band emails is an exchange in which Band urged Abedin to get the Clinton State Department to intervene in order to obtain a visa for members of the Wolverhampton UK Football Club, one of whose members was apparently having difficulty because of a criminal charge. Band was acting at the behest of Casey Wasserman, a millionaire Hollywood sports entertainment executive and president of the Wasserman Foundation. Wasserman has donated between $5 million and $10 million to the Clinton Foundation through the Wasserman Foundation. The Aberdeen emails also reveal that Slim Fast Tycoon S. Daniel Abraham was granted almost immediate access to then Secretary of State Clinton with Abedin serving as the facilitator. According to the Clinton Foundation website, Abraham, like the Wasserman Foundation, has given between $5 million and $10 million to the Clinton Foundation. The emails indicate that Abraham was granted almost immediate access to Clinton upon request.
The newly obtained Aberdeen emails also contain a memorandum sent to Cheryl Mills from State Department White House liaison Laura Penna revealing that Rajiv Fernando was proposed for his controversial appointment to the Sensitive International Security Advisory Board as early as June 2009. Fernando was not actually appointed until 2011 and his appointment raised a firestorm because according to an ABC News report, he had no obvious experience in the field. Fernando donated $1 million to the Clinton Foundation. The Aberdeen emails reveal that even U2's Bono got into the act when former Bill Clinton aide Ben Sherwin, who helped set up the Clinton Foundation, urged Aberdeen to help the aging rock star broadcast from the International Space Station. In a May 27, 2009 email with the subject line, Bono NASA, Sherwin wrote, Bono wants to do link up with the International Space Station on every show during the tour this year. Any ideas? Thanks. Bono has been a donor to the Clinton Global Initiative, and in 2011, he gathered up entertainers for a decade of difference, a concert celebrating 10 years of the William J. Clinton Foundation. According to USA Today, some tickets were sold to the public for 50 to $550 and premium seats went for $1,000 to $5,000 on the Foundation website. These new emails confirmed that Hillary Clinton abused her office by selling favors to Clinton Foundation donors, said Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. There needs to be a serious, independent investigation to determine whether Clinton and others broke the law. Hillary Clinton has repeatedly stated she believes that the 55,000 pages of documents she turned over to the State Department in December 2014 included all of her work-related emails. In response to a court order in other Judicial Watch litigation, she declared under penalty of perjury that she had directed that all of my emails on ClintonEmail.com in my custody that were or are potentially federal records be provided to the Department of State and on information and belief this has been done. This new email find is also at odds with her official campaign statement suggesting all work or potentially work related emails were provided to the State Department. And, of course, I'll leave the link below, and you can check all these out. It's a lot of reading. I've tried to go through it. I just don't have the time. This is Call of Duty Goddess signing off, and as always, I've got your six.